With our deck configured and properly attached, all we need now is the Capture tool. This is found under the Tools menu, under Capture, and the key for it is Command 7. When the Capture tool comes up, it's gonna, we're going to read it from top to bottom. We have a big red Record button. We have the ability to pick what kind of tracks we want to pick from the tape, a video track or audio tracks, depending on what, how it's connected. We can see it's connected via a host 1394. That's FireWire. We're going to skip the naming comments. That'll come when we capture the clips. It's going to go automatically to Fall Colors bin. Now, this is the only bin in our project currently open. If we had other bins, we could target what bin we wanted it to go to. I'd like to take a moment here to take a look at the, re the resolutions. These are all standard def resolutions. Mini DV is DV25, but you can see there are a number of other choices like DV50 for DV50 tapes, as well as uncompressed. There are workflows called online offline workflows where you might capture at a very compressed resolution like 15 to 1 S, S for single field. Capture all your footage at a very low quality but taking up very little drive space and then recapture later at a higher resolution. Just so we can see the idea here, on the current drive that's targeted, the Mac Pro Video Drive, notice when I... Uh, Open up this up this menu, you can pick which drive, and the drive with the most free room is in bold. So if I pick my Macintosh hard drive, I have some, oh God, I don't even know how many hours that is. Uh, let's see this if it was one-to-one, -one, if it was uncompressed. So I have about 16 minutes of uncompressed footage on that one hard drive. If I were to go ahead here and I change it to DV, you'll see... I have something like an hour and 36 minutes. Now, I'm going to put this stuff on the Mac Pro video hard drive. This is where I'm containing everything. And I get about three hours of DV. Uncompressed, I'll get about 34 minutes. And the most compressed resolution you can get, that would be 15 to 1 S. I can get about 23 hours of footage on that hard drive. So the whole idea in our online and offline workflow works pretty much best with tape under the idea that you could capture at one resolution and recapture later just what you used from your timeline. In this case, I'm going to be capturing a DV, mini DV25 because that's a good balance. It's exactly what's on the tape.